that it hurts and I can't stop thinking about you, baby. Hope you know I can't make it without you right here by my side. Girl, I know that there's some love we ain't finished making. So why don't you just come stay with me tonight? Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Deadliest Catch the Game. How's everybody doing today in live chat? Sheer Cheap, Mystery Man, Silly Sally, Cat, how are you? Hope you're doing well, Gargoyle. What's up, man? How are you? Hope everybody is doing well today. I figured I would uh, go back to some Deadliest Catch. Uh, typically we stream this over on Twitch and then upload to YouTube. But I thought about it and I was like, man, what am I playing today? I have no idea. So uh, it looks like uh, in the last one we got all of our pots set and we're waiting to turn these over. And I think, judging by this, everybody's resting at the moment. So, um, for pot setting and pot collecting, um, Sheep made the comment, hey, can you do this? And yeah, I think we ended up having both these guys set for this. And then crab sorting, we have Harry Sorter here doing that and deck cleaning. So he can sort crab and drop stuff there. Uh, but everybody is resting at the moment. We need to skip some time, get to soak on these pots. They got 17 minutes on them at the moment. So, uh, yeah, that's we're gonna be uh, working on crew management again today and, and just see what, what goes where. What's up, Karain, how are you? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing good today, yeah, thanks for asking. Appreciate it.
Oh, it's still working today? Alright, Sally. Yeah, no problem. Back soon to show. Alright, Gargoyle. Hey, man. Alright, well, let's uh, let's skip some time. Let's put... Uh, how many hours do we have left? Uh, we have 10 days left in the season. Alright, so let's put uh, a 24-hour soak on these. And see how this goes. Uh, I think that might be too much. We need to get in the green, so I'm going to try a 15-hour soak next time. And then we're going to go set all these guys to pot collecting. So there we go. I think that was stuff falling for some reason. Uh, oh, we got to make sure that we have bait, don't we? So uh, let's go make sure we have bait to turn these pots back over. I'm pretty sure we do. We only have three. All right, so let's let's make some bait real quick, real quick, like. We have eight, and we have eight pieces of bait. So that's good. All right, and then Harry Sorter should be picking up the uh, the buoys. Should be picking up buoys. Maybe. Oh God! Where, where, why is that? Why is that being reset? Hang on. Uh. Storing pot needs to be gone. Let's get that out of there. Huh? Well, that's weird. Let's go with pot setting then. Yeah, the sorted, the storing pot needs to be gone out of that. Uh, the rest of them can stay. And it looks like yeah, we should be back on track now. So back up to the wheelhouse we go. We'll watch from here. Hopefully. See how this goes. I feel like we really should have more light on the boat. Um, there, th these boats are normally lit up like a like a skyline, so. Oh, there was there was no uh, there was no crab in that pot. That's not a good sign. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess we'll pick them up on the next one because it's already in there now. All right, go back to pot collecting. I think we probably do need to stack the pots, honestly. Yeah, definitely, definitely sheep. Yeah, man. Uh, and, and I think not having to switch stuff back and forth is a good thing for sure. And honestly, I think I need to uh, store these pots. We need to stack and move on to the next uh, area, probably. If if this next one's not any good, we're gonna stack and then keep on keep on trucking. And we'll just turn around and come back and get this one. That seems to be a better idea. Uh, I just, I don't want to... So eventually the crab are going to be moving around a lot. They're not going to be um, predictable in the same spots over and over. So uh, I think ideally learning to cope with that early is probably going to be a good thing. For sure. Sheep, it went good, man. It went good. We made uh, made two good runs and uh, put in some miles. And uh, it's a month long charity event, so it runs the entire entire length of March. So, uh, but it started out good. So we're gonna play some more on uh, Twitch tonight. Play some more American Truck Sim. What's up, popcorn? How's it going? Hope you're doing well. What's up, Mrs. Betts? How's it going? Okay. Shouldn't they be picking picking the pot up? Oh, 
They were. It just took a while. Spider, how's it going? It's going. I hear you, Mrs. Bits. As long as it's going, I guess. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna sort the uh, stack these pots. We're gonna stack these. We'll turn around and go back and get that first one. Because there are no crab here. They have all moved. What are we at on the map? Yeah, we need to move. Uh, I guess we'll move further north. The sandy area. We're in a sandy area now. Move over here. That's 78 fathoms, though. I mean, that's pretty deep. Could just move north of here. I mean, the hot... The, it looks like the hot area is over here on the rocky side, though. Uh, I guess we could move north. We'll get up around this next island here. And drop just in that line right there, maybe. Probably not a bad way of doing it. Yeah, Crane, I was getting that uh, yesterday as well. Well, a little bit, not not much, but it's like everything I tried to tried to pull up, it would tell me I didn't have internet connection. It's like, yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I surely do. I think we do we only have five pots? I thought we had eight pots. It's all over, yeah. Yeah, we kept getting kicked out of the game. That's strange, too, yeah. Weird. Very weird. I don't know, the internet does weird stuff sometimes. Yeah, Popcorn, I agree. I agree. You do this, and then glide back up to the wheelhouse. <laughs> It's kind of annoying that way, isn't it? Hey, yeah, what's the problem here? What are we waiting on? Well, why are we waiting to stack that pot? What? What are, what are we doing? Okay, that guy needs to stay there. So... I need... Catching a reel in the pot should be... This. And throwing out crabs, and this guy should be placing and storing. That's what we should have. Uh, but it seems like... Seems like we're having issues with that today, so let's try this. The crane's stuck or something? What's going on? Oh, he's still got a... There it is. That's weird. Okay. Huh. Unusual bug there. I hadn't seen it do that before. Is it going to stop it again? Wait, didn't we see that on Twitch? Because I was in the wheelhouse, it wouldn't, it wouldn't do it. I think that was the deal. Yeah, if you're in the wheelhouse, maybe it recognizes you're under it? I'm not sure what the deal is there. It's kind of weird. Kind of weird. I feel like that's something that could be changed. So it doesn't recognize that you're in the wheelhouse. That way it actually uh, dropped the pot. Pretty weird. Cannot deny it.
Wish it was daytime. Oh yeah, yeah, very true, very true. Yeah, I mean, typically you had to run down and do something anyway, put the buoys away if nothing else. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I'm not mad about it. It just, it's one of those things that was like, is that the reason or is there something else going on that I'm missing? You know what I mean? Like, but I think it's because I'm in the wheelhouse. I need to go out of the wheelhouse. So I'll drop the, drop the pot. And I feel like that's what's happening. But yeah, I ain't mad about it at all. Because while we're on our way to this next pot, we can go down and uh, throw what little crab we do have in the tank. Not a very good turnover there. Let him put it back up. There he goes. Run it right back over to the storage room. Yeah, you can definitely see the early access mark on it. Which, I mean, it's... I, I play a lot of early access games. So, I mean, I'm not... I'm not terribly, uh... Terribly hurt by it, to be honest. Uh, I like watching the pro the the them pro uh, progress through the the build or whatever. I mean that sometimes that means me not making a video for a while, but uh, just because there's if there's nothing new and there's like a bug a bug that's that's keeping me from saving the game or having to start over every time I play it that kind of thing. Uh, I would like to be back on uh, Rover Mechanic Sim, um, but I can't. Uh, every time I start the game, even if I do a load, I have to start from the tutorial every single time, and I don't know why. So, uh, Rover Mechanic seems like a lot of fun. It's something different as far as mechanic sims go. So, you know, uh, after the next update, I'll probably go back to that and see if that changed it for me. I did not try out tank mechanic, no. Um, mainly because it's like... I don't play a lot of mechanic sims because I'm not very good at them, but the rover mechanic sim is something that really piques my interest. Why is that not dropping? Okay. But yeah, it's something that really piques my interest. And it's and it's small, small stuff mechanics, you know? It's like small builds. What's up, Farming Life? How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Um, so, Barn Finders hit Kickstarter. Gargle sent me a message. Thanks, Gargle, for that. Uh, sent me a message on Barn Finders hitting Kickstarter. So, I'm going to go back in on Kickstarter. And uh, I'm trying to decide if I want to grab... Uh, two game copies and two uh, demos and I think I might I think I might do that we'll just give one of them away uh, barn finder should be a lot of fun honestly it looks like one of those quirky quirky games that I would hey, enjoy how you doing? welcome to the outhouse sheep using his twitch prime sub over on twitch thanks man I appreciate it he picked that up I think he missed. That's a first. Oh, he missed. That is definitely a first. Sheep, thanks for the using your Twitch Prime sub over on Twitch, man. We'll be back over on Twitch tonight. If you guys want to come follow over there, uh, you can find me at twitch.tv slash mess, or you can just go to deucemess.tv and you can find all things outhouse related. Throw some hearts in chat for Sheep. Oh, it doesn't work on here. Dang it. <laughs> Throw some hearts in chat for Sheep and his Twitch Prime sub. Thank you, man. I think we got it that time. That was weird. I've never seen a miss. Uh, I guess uh, nine knots is too fast. Six looks like it's about the uh, about the way.
It's all the advert. Didn't know you could do that. Yeah, man. That's a that's a great 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 thing about having Amazon Prime is you can link it to your Twitch account, and then use your uh, Twitch Prime as it's called to give somebody a free sub every month. Really, class. Wow, man. I didn't realize it was that easy. Honestly, at the moment, um, because this is still an early access build, uh, Fishing Bear at Sea by far. It's the most, it's the most in-depth fishing game uh, that that I've played in the last year and a half. Uh, so yeah, definitely uh, Fishing Bear at Sea uh, for now. Now, if they get this game where they want to get it and they add more boats and that kind of stuff, it might be close. But for now, uh, and and probably the near future, I think it's going to be Fishing Bear at Sea. I just like Deadliest Catch. I like the I like the early access build they got going on. Um, I like kind of following the updates and things. So normally I'll do two or three videos every update, and they just did an update uh, February twentieth. So I've I've only streamed it once since then. So I figured we'd get back on it and uh, play it again today, and and just see how it's still running. Um, and we're not catching a whole lot of crab today, which is very sad. So. Uh, but yeah, I, I think I would rather play Fishing Bear at Sea as far as the in-depth part of it. Um, it is quite easy to earn money on there uh, as well as this, but uh, at least on there, your catch varies, but you get hot spots. And on here, they, they kind of show you hot spots, but it's not it's not guaranteed. So, uh, but yeah, I think uh, as far as it goes, Fishing Bear at Sea is probably the more the more in-depth. Uh, game, but it's at full release though. You know what I mean? Like it's it's out, out. It's already had some DLC out for it. This is still in early access, so uh, I could see this being pretty decent. We need more lighting on the boat for sure. Um, I mean, you see all the big lights. Like there's one uh, on top of the crane right there, and there's three up here above the above the wheelhouse. And it's like there's hardly any light on deck, so it's kind of weird. And I've got all my lights turned on. Yeah, fishing North Atlantic. Uh, set in Canada? I did, yeah. I did. Um, I asked him on Twitter if uh, if they had an, an outline date, you know, not necessarily like, you know, a specific day on a specific month, just kind of a guess on when it would be out, and they didn't give me any kind of, uh, <laughs> they just said, they just said they were working on it and hoped it would, hope they would have something soon, so, uh, yeah, I got the, I got the generic, uh, we're not sure yet, and we don't want to promise people things. Uh, which is fine. I, I'm fine with that. I just thought I would ask him while I while I was thinking about it. Um, but yeah, I'm super happy to see the fishing North Atlantic, and it's supposed to be some type of multiplayer, hopefully. So. Looks good, but doesn't the crew doing all the picking and sorting and everything take away from the gameplay? It can. Uh, you can play without the crew. You can play fully without the crew if you want to. I'm just working on the crew management stuff since it's fairly new. It's a new update. Um, I mean, you got a whole tablet of things you can go through now, so... Um, so this is all the stuff that you're going to have eventually. Hiring crew from here, leaderboards, captain skills. I'm guessing at some point it's going to be a lot like uh, Gold Rush. There's going to be leaderboards there, map, notifications, camera, so you'll be able to take pictures. Captain skills, so you can upgrade your skills. Vessel, as you can see here, there's everything we've got on board. So, uh, warehouse items, pots, yeah. So... Uh, I, there's, a, there's a lot more in it than the last time I played this for sure. Dark Sun dropping a 99 cent super chat. Thank you, man. Much appreciated. Or super sticker dropping the super poo. What's up, Dark? How are you, man? Wow, oh, notifications are taking a while today. Strange. Tired? I bet, bro. I bet, man. Worked all night and already up. Yeah. I haven't gone to bed yet, I'm guessing. What well, thing didn't even pop up on screen? On stre uh, screen? Where's my, where's my dang pop-ups at? What in the world? Did we get a pop-up for uh, sheep? Hang on a second here. Uh, alert box.
Alert box. It should be working. Huh. Strange. Very weird. I don't understand. We still haven't put this pot up yet. Which I don't really understand. Why? Oh, because we didn't walk out and drop that one, that's why. Yeah. Yeah, it takes a long time to sort. Now, we I did start playing this um, right after release, or right after I realized it was out uh, for beta, and the, or for alpha. And, uh... Wait a minute, why is this guy dropping the... Why is he placing the pot? Hang on, we may have one guy doing uh, three things here. Placing pot on launcher. Throwing out crabs. Oh, uh, okay, so yeah, this guy needs to do all three of these. No, this guy needs to do all three of these. Uh, throwing out crab, placing pot, and s storing pot? No. Catching and reeling the pot, placing the pot on launcher. Throwing out crabs. Yeah, this guy needs to do all three, but I don't think he can. I think that might be some of the issue. That's okay though. All right, how many pots we got up here? I think we got seven. Yeah, we got one more pot to go grab. How many crab do we have right now? Ten. Woo, ten crab out of that many pot. That many pots. That's awesome. Not really. <laughs> Jacob, what's up, man? How's it going? Oh yeah, yeah. No, Dana, I understand that 100. percent I understand that 100. percent uh, I like uh, I like doing a bit of the work myself, um, but I'm happy to see that they give you the option to, to get crew members and stuff. So if you wanted to sort the crab, you could just hire two crew members or hire one crew member uh, just to help you set pots. You know what I mean? You could you could run the boat with one person and you do all the crab sorting and baiting the pots and everything else. So uh, that's why you watch so you can watch. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Oh, turn too far. So they're reading chat. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You can make it what you want. Um, as far as that goes, it's like fishing barren. See, it's the same way. Uh, you don't have to use uh, the crew members, but you can. Put these guys to rest for a minute. Levitate back into the uh, back into the cabin here, the captain's quarters. Uh, You're helping your crew, but you're not sorting 80 plus uh, crabs per pot. I mean, I don't mind, honestly. Yeah, it is magical. Just float right back up in there. Slept an hour and a half. Can't sleep, dude. That's not good, man. Yeah, that's what I like about these games too, Sally. Is is you can play them and do everything, just like Farm Sim. You can play them and do everything, or you can hire people. Farmers Dynasty, same way. Uh, you can hire people to do things, or uh, just do everything yourself. I wonder if Lumberjack's Dynasty is going to have that kind of feature where you can hire people, or you can just do it all yourself. It'd be interesting to be able to hire people to cut lumber. <laughs> I don't, I, maybe maybe they can transport lumber for you? I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work. But yeah, I understand completely. Uh, the idea of, of the whole point of the game is to be doing it yourself. You think it'll have hiring help? Probably. No sleep, lots of caffeine. Make sure you're drinking lots of uh, orange juice or something too, man. Vitamin, get that vitamin C. You're already working third shift and then you sleep during the day. So. How many crew members can you have? You can have maximum three uh, for now. I don't know how many of the plan will add in later, but right now you can have three. Gargoyle's laughing because he probably knows... <laughs> uh, I'm looking forward to finding out, man, on, on what they what they're doing for Lumberjacks Dynasty as far as the the in depth part of the game goes. Uh, not that I know of, sheep. Not that I've seen anyway. Got to work for a while. Just trying to figure out your next game. House Flippers getting old. I hear you. Um, I'm gonna be checking out Barn Finders. 
uh, a little bit. Probably, to, I mean, maybe tonight. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow morning I'll record some of it. Uh, I may record it instead of doing it live. Uh, Argo, did you see if there was um, uh, like a closed uh, beta release for far, uh, for Barn Finders if you, if you back it on Kickstarter? Uh, I, did, I was trying to read it, but I was trying to start my stream up at the same time, so I didn't really notice. Yeah, popcorn. I felt the same way. Uh, I buy. I usually get as many of the crappy early access alpha simulators as I can, uh, just just so I can show them off, and and that way the community doesn't have to that kind of thing. So, uh, you know, like you guys can make up your mind by watching me play it, ask questions, whatever. We'll try stuff out on them, that kind of thing. And if you don't think you'll like it and you don't think it's worth the money, then don't 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 spend your money on it. You know, what I mean, that's what I'm doing. So. Um, but yeah, I, I like the idea of, of playing all these, all the, all these early access simulator games. Cause a lot of them are really crappy. Like bum simulator was really crappy. Uh, it was a pretty poor situation, but, it, um, but yeah, that's, that's the reason I do it is just for you guys mainly. So with Stan looks awesome. Yeah. I, I was watching some of Mike's video. I didn't get to watch all of it, but I left a like for you, Mike. Yes, yeah, Sally, absolutely. Change your goals and procedures and become a, a bit of a different game. Um, not only that, but now now with you knowing that there there are lots and lots of mods for Stardew Valley, Sally, you can really change it around. Uh, you can make it a whole different game. But instead of just having a, a different starting farm, now the expanded mod for it makes it a whole different game. Also, the longevity mod will make it a whole different game, Sally, because there are, there are seasons-based prices. Uh, prices fluctuate. You have to pay taxes. It, it, it creates a whole different different game as well so uh it's fantastic david what's up man i've got more than 80 crabs uh are you asking or are you, you are you saying that you have gotten more than 80 crabs i have never picked up more than 80 king crab not once so you doubt it's closed so well what i was asking is if i pick it up today uh, can I record something on it in the morning and put it out? That's that's. I didn't see anything where I couldn't, but I, I just thought I would get another set of eyes to check it out. So. <laughs> Sally, <laughs> I don't. I'm old. I don't want to learn more functions. Well, I'm just saying, like, if you wanted to make it make a Stardew Valley a different game, there there are so many mods out there to do that. Speaking of which, new Stardew Valley uh, that I streamed on Twitch. Um, was that last night? What did I stream last night? Oh, Subsistence. Yeah, Monday night I streamed. Uh, I'm going to try to get it uh, rendered and get it out uh, tonight at some point. So if you missed it uh, and you like Stardew Valley, you can catch up on it here on YouTube. Uh, and then also the Subsistence, I'm going to try to get it downloaded and edited and then back uploaded uh, Friday. So if you missed it, you can catch up on it as well. Oh, you're just saying you have enough games in general. Yeah, I gotcha. Doesn't say on homepage from Kickstarter about an NDA. Okay, cool. Cool. Yeah, that's all That's all I was wondering. Just another set of eyes looking at it because I didn't see anything about it. But uh, I've been in those situations in the past where right when I got ready to upload the video, I noticed something in it, you know, or whatever. So it's like, well, crap. I guess I can't do that. Your 40 and your 12 year old got you back into gaming? Well, I'm, I'm the exact opposite. Uh, I'm only 35, but my 13 year old, I got her into gaming. So, <laughs> well, I mean, the, of course, the kids at school got her playing Minecraft a couple years ago, but but I took some of my old computer parts and then ordered a case and uh, just some small stuff here and there, but I had enough parts to build her a computer. So I got her into gaming, uh, PC gaming anyway. play away their NDA has more holes than a strainer. I guess that's probably true. Yeah. 
You know you're tired, but you can barely remember what you streamed last night. Man, it, it almost seems like everything runs together for me a lot of the times, Popcorn. Uh, I stream during the day on YouTube and then at night on Twitch. And between editing and uh, if I'm recording an extra video that week or a couple extra videos of games that I don't stream uh, and then work, it, it's, it, man, it gets, uh, it gets kind of crazy. So, do you guys hear about the tornado that went through Nashville? Um, good, good friend of mine, uh, more like a, a younger brother, uh, lives in Nashville, and uh, uh, yesterday morning, first thing I did was I sent him a message after I realized that that, that happened. Uh, um, so a lot of my morning yesterday was waiting to hear back, and he's in California on tour, so... Uh, but he said that the, their house was good. Everybody he knew there was good. So, uh, but yeah, it was an awful, awful situation. Uh, right through downtown East Nashville. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. When's there going to be an update again for this game? I have no idea. Uh, I play them as I see them. I play them as I see them. There's already people putting out vids on barn finds. Cool. Cool. Good deal. Yeah, I'll definitely, I'll definitely get on that one. Um, Miss Nomad, I'm 53 of games since the plastic things were first invented. Heck yeah, lifetime gamer. That's what I like to hear. And you know what's funny is, is you hear all these, all these, all these younger kids, and I mean younger kids. I mean like 13, 14 year olds. You know. Uh, on the internet, on Twitter and, and, and Instagram, talking about boomers get off the games, you don't understand them or whatever. And I love the post. It's like, boomers are the ones that gave you gaming, you know? And it's true, it really is. Like, the older generations are the ones that, that made it possible for the younger generations to be able to game like they do today. So, uh, I just think it's always funny to see that. It's like, so you're telling old people gaming's not for them, but yet, <laughs> they're the reasons you can play it. <laughs> Okay, then. <laughs> oh, to be young and stupid again. <laughs> you younger generation, you have no idea. Yeah, right, popcorn. Me either. Me either. That's the point. I mean, I think it's. I think it's for everybody. I, I think there's something out there, literally, for everybody if they want to play games. My Atari dollars invented the Xbox. Yes, hundred <laughs> percent. All right, we need to go north from here. So uh, let's just set this puppy on wide open and just head north, and then we'll work on some stuff after they drop that pot there. Bloop, right into place. Nice. Uh, let's put them to rest a little while. I don't think we can do any cooking or anything with them yet, so uh, no need to worry about that at the moment. Let's go grab the bucket. Or the tote. Throw all these crab overboard. Put those in there. Close this up. Oh man, he's always working. All right, what do we need to do to get to daytime? What time is it right now? It's 4.02 a.m. Let's skip uh, two hours. That didn't really help, it's still dark. I forgot we're in Alaska. <laughs> Let's skip another two hours. Trying to get to daylight. There we go. Oh, look at that. Beautiful sunrise on the Bering Sea. Hang on a minute. Let's, uh... Try to get a good screenshot here. There we go. I'll take that. Not bad. Well, it's going to take a long while to get up there. Let's uh, fast travel. 
uh, eight hours. Except. Okay. Now then. Um. Way on the right heading here. Yeah, we should be good right here. Well, let's go crew management, pot setting. Let's go make sure we got bait. We have seven. Go ahead and put some more in there. Uh, just I know it's not going to be top quality because it's going to run out. The uh, perk for that's not up yet. So, uh, and then we'll stand here and watch them do everything from the deck. At least we can get a good view this time. I used to do a kid about what a 4.5 inch floppy was and watch their heads explode. Dude, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, man. It's crazy to just just in it, since I started playing games. I'm 35. I started playing um, uh, stuff on Mini Clip in 2000 or 99, I guess, when I built my had my first computer. Uh, well, no, I was probably it's probably 2001 when I got my first computer, our first house computer. I was playing stuff on Mini Clip, playing the trials games and stuff on there, and. Uh, you know, we still used floppy disk, even though CDs were out, but they were still, dad still had some stuff stored on them. So, I mean, that when I was, my my junior high had one tech class uh, and we used floppy disk. So, uh, it, it's pretty, it's funny. It's really funny. <laughs> playing cod yeah yeah I, I was talking to india last night i haven't really uh i haven't really played anything competitive in a long time so let these guys rest for a minute i'm gonna spread these out pretty far MS DOS, yeah, man. Yeah, it's uh, computers and gaming. Gaming in general has come a long way in the last 10 years, much less the last 30, you know. <laughs> Klaus. <laughs> All right, this should be far enough. Oh, oh, Sally, that's not good. Oh yeah, yeah, I stopped him, Klaus. Uh, I want to want to space these pots out a good bit. Do you think they can do it online so you can, uh, so there'll be competitions? Um, get the most crab. I think I'll be awesome. I don't think I'll be awesome at it, but I do think there's going to be that because right here there's a leaderboards. So I don't know if they're going to do competitions gold rush style where they have like seasons or whatever. Um, or how they're going to do it. I know Gold Rush is a is a Discovery Channel based thing as well, so um, it, it's possible that might be the reason for the leaderboards. So maybe we'll see. Yeah, right, Sally. That's 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 the unfortunate part about it, I guess. Popcorn, I really hope they do. I really do. Uh, yeah, I hope they add a lot of stuff uh, to this. The the bad weather, the waves, uh, the slipping, the sliding. The, the, um, I'd love to see a, uh, an Opelio season. Um, uh, an Opelio season would be fantastic because then you got to worry about ice. you got to get ice off your boat and all that kind of stuff. I think that'd be great too.
What's up, Adam? How's it going? Adam's Racing, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Try the fishing bear and see. The Nomad, that's one of my favorite fishing games. Um, I've got several videos out on it. I am going to play Bar Finders, yeah. Uh, Gargle sent me a message right before the stream started and asked me about it. Uh, I didn't realize that the demo was up on Kickstarter. So, uh, I, as soon as I get done here, I'm going to go back and on Kickstarter and pick up uh, two um, Steam copies and two beta codes or whatever. Two early access, whatever it is. Two alpha versions. I'm going to buy the two and two package. So, so I'll have uh, one code of each to give out, hopefully. Yeah, exactly, popcorn. Breaking the ice. Oh, crap. I forgot to stop Stop. Let that buoy drag for a little while. Wait, how far back was that other one? Uh, these two might be close together. I'll let him go ahead and set it. Like to see an online derby competition like the old days of King Crab? Yeah, Danny, that'd be awesome. Uh, you get you get ten in-game days. Um, most um, most crab wins. That'd be kind of neat. Got the wife watching Stardew? <laughs> well, tell her the, the Twitch stream, if she missed it, will be up on YouTube, uh, hopefully tonight or in the morning. So, if she wants to catch up on it, it'll be up then. And the subsistence video, I hope, will be up Saturday, Friday or Saturday. So. Uh, Dave, I haven't had the Hermes yet. Is that the troller, the, the trawling one? The one you do the trawling with? Uh, I haven't had it yet in Fishing Bear Sea. I just back, started back playing it about two months ago. So, in January, I think. So, I'm looking forward to getting back playing it more. I was going to do it today, and I was like, I really want to work on this crew thing some more and see if we can figure out better ways to work this out because Sheep had mentioned it. So, um, But I'm going to give in on Fishing Bear Sea. We're going to take out a loan, and we're going to get the bigger crab boat and then try to pay off our loan and then take out another loan and then go up to the biggest boat and go do some trawling because that's something I've never done, so. Put together about 24 million kroner, nice. So I wish I could set up hotkeys. This is something that I mentioned. Um, I, I would love to see these guys put in hotkeys for resting, pot sorting, I mean not pot sorting, resting, um, pot, what's it called, uh, pot collecting and pot setting. So have three different hotkeys for those, that way you can literally just, it's like you're getting on the comms and going, hey, you know, I think that'd be pretty neat to do. Uh, but yeah, Dave, we're gonna, we're gonna get, we're gonna get on that last boat at some point, so. Yep, yep. Uh, sheep, Sheared Sheep Gaming, Adam, has been doing um, both. House Flipper, and he did some Fishing Bear at Sea as well. Uh, and it's pretty fun to watch somebody use that little crab boat because it's so dang fast <laughs> with a controller. <laughs> it's fun to watch. <laughs> no offense, Sheep, but it's funny. <laughs> uh, do you have Seasons on uh, Fishing Bear at Sea? Uh, as far as I know, yeah. Uh, I don't think it's like Fish seasons as in like fishing seasons, but uh, I think it rolls through the year, yeah. There's so much they could take from Alaskan Storm. Yeah, I've never played Alaskan Storm, but I've watched a few videos, and there's so many ideas I want them to implement here. I mean, so many ideas. If Stranded Deep will come on out, yeah. Uh, last time I played Stranded Deep on PC, I had trouble just saving the game, so I gave up on it. Was that where that came from, Miss Nomad? I didn't know that. 
um, that the the crew of the Northwestern made. I didn't know that. Maya, how's it going? There's a baby sleeping on me, but I made it. Well, good deal. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad the baby's asleep, honestly. <laughs> uh... Peter, I'm with you. Yeah, I hope they add uh, ice sheets and uh, having to chip ice off of paleo season. Uh, I know you can get the extended season perk in here now. Uh, not now, it's not available yet, but it's in game. It's already built in the game. They just haven't, they haven't updated it to that yet. Uh, where you can go cod fishing and catch your own bait. So uh, I would love to see, um, I'd love to see opilio season, a cod. I'd love to see you be able to fish year round, but in different seasons and catch different things. I think that'd be fantastic. Handsome family uh, did it. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Oh, that's why it's their boat. Oh yeah. And you hear Sig all the time. Man, that makes sense. That makes total sense. Well, I figured it was your baby, yeah. I mean, I just, I'm just saying, like, it's a good thing it's asleep, I guess. You know, when, ba when babies sleep, it's always a little easier than when they're crying. <laughs> you get a little break, is what I'm saying. Oh, Adam. <laughs> I didn't see, I didn't see your comment. <laughs> Did you miss anything? Not, not really. We've just been kind of going over. We, we stacked our crab pots and moved. Uh, we were down here in this area, so I moved up north of there, and uh, we just kind of we're kind of setting slowly here. I'm not in a big hurry to get these set out, so I wanted to stretch them out pretty far. And really, I've got eight. I should have dropped four. I should have dropped four here, and then went up here and dropped four, or maybe even across there, up on top of this island in this area. Uh, I think I may do that next time. If we don't catch any crab out of this, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop four and four. Oh, gotcha, man. Okay, never mind. Okay, cool. Last pot in. Put these guys on rest. We can get flipped around here. <laughs> yeah, I, th I thought you meant it was yours. Okay, I got you. I got you. We'll run over the buoys. Got to get turned. There we go, crew's resting. Let's put a 14-hour uh, soak on this. Let's do a 12-hour and see what happens. It's going to be nighttime, of course, but... Yeah, 1 in the morning. It's green. Let's see if that makes a difference. I don't know if it's going to. Alright, let's do pot collecting, but let's take that one off. We'll just restack pots, maybe. You tried playing this the other day? Ten pots? You mean eight pots? You can't get ten pots in the game yet, I don't think. Yeah, these boats don't have brakes, right? Yeah, you'd have had to do a lot of a lot of maneuvering to get turned around. And normally they'll they'll jog after they set pots and make a big big loop and come back. So, uh, which is really what we should be doing. We should be going 
back to the beginning where we set first and coming back, but that's okay. Uh, hello? Why are we not setting the pot? Oh, pot setting. That's probably why. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. It won't let me buy more than eight. Dark. Like, if I went in after, after I set these, we'll run in real quick and see. But I don't think I can buy more than eight. I think I tried before. I was going to see how many pots I could pick up. Because uh, I'd like to do... I'd like to set eight here and then go set eight somewhere else. Um, I mean, I'm going to have the money to after this load. Hopefully. <laughs> that would be the ideal thing, anyway. Uh, but yeah, I think I tried that. Catherine with a like reminder. That's right, guys. If you are enjoying the video, if you enjoy the streams, if you like the channel, hit the like button. It does help me out a lot. Uh, if you don't, that's fine. Uh, feel free to hit the dislike button if you want. Uh, leaving a comment on why you dislike it would be better. And if you say it's dark, I realize it's dark. It's the game. <laughs> Yeah, definitely, definitely, Miss Nomad. I should be able to. We should be able to carry fifty pots on this deck right here. Fifty pots is a nightmare. I bet, Dave. Yeah, we're we're gonna try it. Um, I'm doing a house flipper tomorrow. Uh, you know what? I may we may do fishing bear at sea tomorrow during the day, uh, for the YouTube stream, and get back on that. We'll we'll do one day after the other on the fishing games and see which ones. Which one we like better? Which I know which one I like better. I like fishing bear and sea better, uh, for now, just because of the amount of the amount of substance in the game is fantastic. There's just so much to do. So, um, but uh, we may do that tomorrow. We may try some some big big crab fishing on there. Yeah, Klaus, that's what I'm thinking too. I'm hoping that's what the case. More pot management, yes, for sure. Because, I mean, you wouldn't set all 50 pots in a string right here uh, unless it was super good crab all the way up. You'd drop spot pots and then come back and pick them. And if they're good, turn and burn and then drop some more on that same spot maybe. Uh, but I don't see I don't see somebody setting a string of 50, right? You'll set several strings to try to, try to get as many as you can going. Really try to maximize the... Uh, the amount of crab uh, that you're putting on the boat. Yeah, five different strings would be what I would do, yeah. I sound like Soul Fox Gaming. I've never heard of him, but I'll go look him up. Uh, I've had people tell me I sound like Markiplier before, which is just ridiculous. I do not sound like Markiplier. I don't randomly make loud noises for no reason. <laughs> nah, Adam, it's legal most places. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I have no idea. I sound exactly like him. That's crazy. I'm going to go look so I got post-it notes, hang on. <laughs> Soul Fox Gaming, I'm gonna take it out. My voice twin. My voice doppelganger. Half a bottle of rum helps kids relax too. Oh god. 
We putting bad ideas in people's heads. <laughs> hey man, my my dad told me uh that when, you know, if, if they were when they were teething as babies, they got the whiskey rubbed on their gums. <laughs> so I mean, you know, it's like it it depends on what uh you know, what era you 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 grew up in, I guess. I did not mean to to hit Q. I meant to hit uh W. Yeah, see, dark. There you go. I guess it's more depends on where you grew up. I guess. Uh, hey, whatever helps you sleep, right? Brandy on yours. Yeah, Sally. See, yeah, if you did that today, uh, my goodness, people would lose their mind. <laughs> You did that's why wild turkey makes you drool. <laughs> uh, that's that's true, Miss No Man. Yeah, that's very true. Well, don't tell anybody. You'll get canceled. <laughs> Put some right to sleep, right, Dana? <laughs> What's up, Stiggs? How's it going? Hope you're doing well, bud. Right, right, dark. And again, I don't, I don't know so much the era, but how you were, how you were raised, maybe. Uh, I feel like I was raised a little different um, through the through the '90s and 2000s than a lot of people were for some reason. I mean, when you when you get a little alcohol, you know the, the right amount makes you happy, right? <laughs> that and I mean, let's be honest, toothaches toothaches suck, right? So, if you could remember what it felt like cutting teeth, you would not be a happy person today. I guarantee it. There's no way that felt good. It hurts. What's up, Mouse? How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Or impacted wisdom teeth. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you've, if you've had any kind of severe uh, toothaches... All you want is a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> so it makes total sense. <laughs> Have a bottle of vodka make a toothache stop. I bet. Yeah, that'll, that'll cure it right up for a little while. Oh, Adam's racing. That's not good. That's a, that's a painful, painful ordeal. I had one shift through, um, and when it came in, it crushed my tooth between it and my uh, my back molar. My, I guess your, uh, what are they? The twelve year molar is what they call it. When that wisdom tooth came in, it crushed the the tooth between. That's the one I went and had pulled in August last year. Uh, since it was on the back, and the other one was coming in. It actually took up most of the space. So it's like, just pull it, man. I don't want to spend any more money than I have to because. It's either that or cut that one out. And I was like, just pull this one. It'd be easier. <laughs> so. Well, they removed them? I bet, Sally. Yeah. Uh, so, my my thing is, uh, I was told that my top, my top wisdom teeth would never bother me. Uh, they look good. They were never going to, you know, get impacted or do anything funny. So, I'm banking on that. I hope that's the case. Um... My bottom ones, I was told it was possible I was going to have to have them removed later, which is going to suck because having your wisdom teeth removed later in life, I heard, is way worse. So, uh, 
Oh, Adam, that's nasty. Yeah, man. You break a tooth out of town, it sucks, man. Um, uh, mine started really, really bothering me while I was out of town at a show, uh, one weekend. And when I got back, I made an appointment on Tuesday. And it was like, if it's not better by Monday, I'm gonna go make an appointment. So, it wasn't better Monday, so I made an appointment, got it Tuesday, had it pulled, and immediately felt better when the numbing went away. I immediately felt better. You lost all four by 19? Yeah. I, I should I should have probably just went ahead and had them take the bottom ones out. Uh, probably going to regret that decision later. What's up, Jeff? How's it going, bud? Hope you're doing well. Late to the party? A little bit. Not, not much. Hour. I mean, we're just crabbing and talking, really. strange folk rooting around in your mouth. I guess not. Yeah. <laughs> Go to the dentist, you know. <laughs> yeah, mouse, you know that you know the issues then. You definitely know the issues. Oh wow, Klaus, that's crazy. I still have four milk teeth. Leave this set on two and see if we can do uh, do this without stopping burn and turn kind of deal here. We're catching some good good numbers There's 99 on the table right now I don't know how many we can stack on the side here. We're gonna find out though. I'm gonna leave him. I'm gonna let him go for a little while We'll see how many we get total out of uh, all all eight pots. Yeah, we got all eight pots. We'll see Yeah, Jeff, absolutely, man. Absolutely. And, and I 100% understand. And uh, it, it was one of those things that's like, I know that service dogs typically don't get don't get the recognition they deserve. And I never knew that there was a uh, charity out there for them. So uh, I think it's amazing, man. I'm glad you brought it to my attention. Uh oh, I bet I'm out of bait. All right, let's do. Uh, this has seventy-nine percent. We got twenty-eight percent. Let's go ahead and do these. So I think you could have them make bait, but not yet because it wasn't showing that they could make bait. I want to go ahead and get these three made up because these have twenty-eight percent left on them. So. Recently died. I hate to hear that. Sorry. Sorry to hear that. Up to 124. That dude can sort the crap out of crab, man. Like he is he is cruising on that. Chavez, what's up, man? How's it going? Indy, what's up, buddy? Thank you for the like reminder. Indy and Chavez both. Guys, remember, if you are enjoying the stream, hit the like button. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and then tell it all notifications. Come back and watch more. Go follow on Twitch. I stream there at night. I'll be streaming over there tonight at 9.30 p.m. Central time. All times are central. Is there anything you want to catch? Anything you haven't thought of you might want to watch? You can go back and look. I have over 1,300 games 
uploaded on YouTube, or videos uploaded on YouTube, and uh, stream to Twitch when I am home, and I can. And Monday through Thursday, I stream during the day on YouTube and at night on Twitch, and then Friday, I swap it up, stream at night on YouTube and during the day on Twitch. So, I think that's got the rundown of everything. Oh, also, uh, while I'm thinking about this, and you brought up the, the Freedom, uh, the, the Service Dogs uh, charity, um, right now, started Sunday, March 1st, our outhouse logistics company for American Truck Sim and Euro Truck Sim 2. Uh, we're doing a, um, we're doing a charity event this month, uh, for every 10,000 miles driven on American Truck Sim and every 10,000 kilometers driven on Euro Truck Sim 2, we are going to donate $1 for every 10,000 miles and every 10,000 kilometers driven, uh, for everybody in our truck books, in our logistics company. Uh, and if it's something that interests you and you want to get involved, you can drive uh, if you're part of the community and you want to match the dollar for 10000 you can do that too. Uh, it shouldn't be too very expensive. We're not trying to break the bank, but we do want to raise some money for charities. Um, the, whoever drives the most miles gets to pick what happens with the money raised. They, we got five charities picked out. Uh, might add one. Um... We'll do, might, might add one and we'll do six charities you can choose from, or you can choose to divvy it up equally between all of them, uh, however you want to do that. If you drive the most miles, it is your choice. Uh, but if you want to get involved and drive the miles, you're more than welcome to. Head on over to Discord or use exclamation point logistics in chat, and you can find the link to our truck books there. Uh, and then hop in Discord and let us know that you're, you're, uh, you've applied. The applying is kind of a... Uh, Uh, a formality. We, we accept pretty much everybody. So, And if you're interested in Farm Sim 19, the Farm Sim 19 multiplayer server that is hosted on Nitrado. We're a proud partner of Nitrado. Um, we'll be starting back up this week as well. So big thanks to Nitrado for being a partner. And if you want to grab yourself a server, you can use the first link down below in the description. If you want to read more about the charity event going on with the Truck Sim, uh, in the description right below that you'll find all the details and the charities uh, that we're going to be targeting so there you go I think that's all the rundown I forgot to do that at the beginning so maybe somebody will hear that that watches this later <laughs> what's on the agenda tonight uh, probably driving probably doing some some American truck sim get some more miles in for charity Peter, I have no idea, honestly. Like, it's not super dark on my screen, but it is pretty dark. And then on the replay, it's it's very dark. But my secondary monitor has a darker screen than my play monitor does, so I really can't judge it uh, by that. But um, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's just super dark for some reason. I'm going to go check the graphic settings in a sec. Collect this pot and... Uh, Settings, controls, graphics, orderless, V-Sync, yep, water quality, yep, everything, gamma, brightness. Like that help? I think that might have helped a little bit. That helped some? Maybe that helped a little bit. I do still have it, yeah, Jeff. I've got one of the uh, um, one of the helpers is driving it. Man, the mouse is so touchy on here. Build a view, metric controls, mouse sensitivity. 
Go down a little bit. That's better. <laughs> that was just super wide open there. That helped a lot. Good deal. Okay. Bob, how's it going? Thank you for the honor of letting me drive for the... Oh, man. The honor is ours, man. We appreciate everybody that drives, especially uh, doing stuff like this, having having everybody driving uh, and putting those miles up for charity is, is definitely, definitely a good thing. So uh, thank you for being part of the outhouse and driving with us. Thanks for putting up with us. <laughs> To drive that during the charity event, I might, yeah, I might switch back to it. That's a good point. We're gonna hammer down a little bit and run way out here for this one. Oh, seriously, gargoyle, that's cool. That's very cool. we get these in um, this one in the water we're gonna run back to Dutch and see if we can pick up eight more pots because if we can we're going to oh my bad my bad sorry bud can I have these me uh me collect these crab here if you don't mind back over there back over here what's the, what's the deal are these good or bad? Oh, these are good. Okay. I didn't realize there was that many in there. I thought there was on the ground somewhere. Man, nothing is nothing is cooperating. There we go. Guess I didn't. I thought I might have dropped some, but I did not. All these bad ones out. I'm just glad you can hold 40. Having to do this one at a time would really be horrible. Seven left. Cool. I'm gonna let these guys rest. Throw the rest of those overboard. We'll just drop that for him. He can put it up. Give him something to do. And we're gonna head back to Dutch and see uh, if we can grab more crab pots. How many days we got left? Eight days. Okay. This is going to take uh, 21 hours. So we'll have seven days, nine hours left, which means we really have six days left. So 305 nautical miles. We'll have 2,000 gallons of fuel left. So we need to go sell this so we can make some money. <laughs> Adam, I have no idea. I haven't played the uh, Red Dead 2, but... I'm sure that that inside would be funny if I had. So there are four crew members to choose from, just so you guys know. Uh, you can't hire but three. So processing plant, let's go do this first so we got a few bucks. Um, $63,000, not bad. Uh, we need to buy some fuel because we don't have any. And we're going to spend $26,000 on fuel. Then we're going to come over here and we're going to buy more pots, right? It won't let me buy anymore. I've got eight of eight right there. Unless there's an upgrade somewhere that I'm missing. Yep, 
Yeah, I can't buy this. I've got the money to, I'm sure, but it won't let me. Yeah, none of this is available. Let's do send me a message, sorry. Um, yeah, I can't even buy any of these yet, so. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, Welcome none of this. That girl named Shy, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the outhouse. No fines? Nope. Uh, yeah, that's it. Like, I can't buy any of the upgrades. Yeah, Dark Sun said that he was able to buy more pots. I want to know how. Alright, let's go back out to our pots here. Uh, they're going to have way more than the time needed to soak, so... First pots there, these are going to have like 40 hours on them. Yeah, 42 hours on these pots, so... Uh, crab are probably dead. <laughs> Uh, let's see how good we do here. What was that? Why was there a pile of crab flashed up on the deck there? Oh, we got crab. Let's get out of their way. We'll see how many we get. Hey Clive, it's all good man, yeah, I, I appreciate that honestly. Uh, we've talked about wanting to do more Euro Truck Sim. Um, I just need, I need to get more time in Euro Truck Sim so I can purchase a truck. <laughs> That's really the main thing for me. Next pot. Go ahead and switch back to pot collecting after away from that one. So are there any upcoming games that you guys are looking forward to that I may not have heard of? I'm curious. I got 67 games on my wish list right now on Steam. I'm about to alleviate one of those with the Kickstarter for uh, Barn Finder. So uh, anything else that you guys are looking forward to that I'm not aware of, you think? Throw them out there. I'll tell you if I know about it or not. <laughs> Uh, okay. How did you miss that? We were barely moving. Right again. Alex McBody. There we go. Now we're going the right direction. You suggested yours? I hear you. bunch of survival type games out in early access um withstand is one that uh ao mike's playing uh it looks like it could be okay looks like it'd be pretty entertaining
Whoop. Back up to the wheelhouse. Uh, reading Miss Deuce's message. All right, back to the crab pots. World of Tanks is free. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. This doesn't seem like it's for me. I don't know if it's for me. I used to watch. Um, Buck and play it when he was streaming it. I didn't mind watching somebody that knew what they were doing play it, but I don't think people would want to watch me play it. I have no idea how, how World of Tanks works, even to this day. So. <laughs> I have plenty of hate mail. Um, believe it or not, I actually don't get that much of it. Which I guess is a good thing, because anybody can find something to complain about, so... I'm pretty happy I don't get a whole lot of a lot of hate mail. Not yet, anyway. I'm sure it's coming. How we're doing on crab so far? What was that? Pot number three. Sixty-two crab, not bad. We had enough. Uh, we had enough bait in the box over there for him, so should be good. Yeah, I played a couple of the Assassin's Creed. I played the original one. Um, just Assassin's Creed one. Uh, I don't know. I just, I don't, I like the adventure, but I don't, they're too big. You know what I mean? They're just too big. Like, big games like that, Skyrim, stuff like that, I love them, Fallout, Borderlands. There's just too much game, uh, and I enjoy my different games. I enjoy playing different stuff, so. Snowrunner? Snowrunner's one I might pick up. Like the story of the series? Yeah. Yeah, I understand that for sure. Um, uh, I, I like the... I've always liked the... Uh, the lore in uh, Assassin's Creed. It's always been pretty cool. But it's just... It's too much game for me. I guess. Uh, I started a long dark playthrough. And I think I got to the end of... Um, episode 2, I think. And... I think we were waiting on the next part of it to come out when I was playing it, so I ended up stopping playing it. I just had, I never picked it back up. I forgot which one of the last one I even tried to play Assassin's Creed was. Yeah, I'm probably gonna, I'm, I might try out SnowRunner. I might try it out. I, I, I've yet to play MudRunner itself. Uh, I played Spin Tires, the original MudRunner. And I got Mud Runner for free because of it, so I played it for a little while, but I really didn't play it that much. I played it once or twice. Uh, Alaskan Truck Simulator is definitely one on my wish list. It is at the top of my wish list. I cannot wait on that to come out. Uh, if it's done right, it's going to be a killer game, and I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, there's a couple that I'm really, really excited for. Farm and Fix 2020, if done right, is going to be fantastic. Uh, that's another one I'm kind of waiting on. Fallen Order. Yeah, I heard it's really good. I just... I don't know, man. The, the big AAA games, I just don't I don't get into anymore, man. I like the, I like the early access 
uh, simulator style stuff these days. This one set back out. Yeah, Red Dead Two Mafia Three is the one that 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 made me quit doing um, uh, triple A titles like that. There was a radio play in like a building over in Mafia Three for like fifteen seconds. It was literally a 15 second clip of a radio playing in the room next to me and it was barely, barely audible in the background and I got a copyright claim for it and uh, that was when I decided to remove all of my Mafia 3 playthrough and then stop doing uh, big AAA titles like that because it's like, it's, there's no point, like there's no point. I have not played Satisfactory, no. My favorite flavor? I've got the... Um, this is blondie so this is like uh, uh, almost like a vanilla custard right now um, I like the strawberry stuff but a lot of it can be too sweet unless it's done right uh, blueberries any kind of berry flavor I like is good so. I mean, stuff like The Long Dark I would like to go back to. I'd like to go back and revisit it. I just, I don't have it installed anymore. <laughs> I waited so long on the on the third part of that to come out. I was like, alright, I gotta make room on my hard drive. So, I just started deleting stuff. Yeah, I haven't played a Metal Gear Solid in a very, very long time. Uh, I don't even remember the last Metal Gear Solid game I played, to be quite honest. It's been a long, long time since I played Metal Gear. I mean, a long time. You liked to seen them? They were fun, man. Uh, I really liked Mafia 3, but every video I uploaded got copyrighted, and that was before they, they changed the the monetization setting where you had to have 4,000 hours and 1,000 subscribers or whatever. Uh, if you had so many, if your account had been in good standing for a certain amount of time, you, you could monetize. And uh, so that was before I actually made it, uh, they changed the, the qualifications for being monetized. And everything I put up was getting, uh, for Mafia 3, was getting copy copyrighted. And I was like, eh, okay, I'm done with it. <laughs> I'm done with it. It's just too much of a pain. <laughs> I thought you were an evil twin. <laughs> two different consoles, two different consoles. It was a really fun game. Um, I played Mafia 2 and then Mafia 3. The Godfather was the one I hate they quit making. So they had the Godfather 1 and Godfather 2, and Godfather 2 was fantastic. Uh, I wish they would have went, went ahead and made Godfather 3 and 4. I'd have loved to have played those. I, that's what got me into the Mafia games, was the Godfather games. Welcome back, Popcorn. But yeah, I, I loved the Godfather games. They were fantastic. Yeah, Mafia 2 was really good too. I liked it. I didn't play Mafia. I never played the Mafia. I played Mafia 2 and Mafia 3. The Godfather games were so good, man. Deceit? I have heard of it, but I've never looked at it. Never played 2? Yeah, and those, those are the ones that got me into the Mafia games. You have Mafia for PS2? That's cool.
What pot are we on? Is this like seven? Is this six? I don't remember. I don't know which pot I'm on here. Did he miss that? Seriously? No, he got it. I was about to say. It's right next to the boat. You greenhorn, get with it, man. <laughs> Dang. Looks like we're getting some good numbers, so we'll burn and turn here again until we run out. Would love a 2020 burnout game? Dude, yes. New crash physics and everything. That'd be fantastic. Dude, oh my god, Burnout was such a great game. Arguably the best racing game ever made. <laughs> In my opinion. And arguably, so you could argue that it's not, and that'd be fine too. But uh, I loved Burnout. Such a good game. So, something else that, uh, another great racing game that I remember playing was Apex. Do you guys, do you guys remember Apex? Where you built your, you designed and built your own cars, uh, you worked your way up from, uh, just racing to owning your own car manufacturing company and you made your own? Apex was, was a fantastic concept. Yeah, building a racing car manufacturing company. Yeah, you could race the cars. You started out at the bottom and then built up to it. Yeah, it was great, man. I, I thought the concept was fantastic. Because then it was like, you still own it? That's awesome. Yeah, man. That was, a, that was a whole different concept for a racing game then. So I thought it was great. That was back in the days of uh, like Need for Speed, Juiced, all those. And then Apex. It was like, oh, dude, this game's, this game's different. I like it. <laughs> Dirt to Daytona is still my favorite racing game ever made. Ever. That was a fantastic concept. I wish they would have kept going with it. Like, I wish we had a Dirt to Daytona 2020. That'd be fantastic. It was my favorite racing game, man. Like, as far as just straight up racing where you're building your, building your, your career, it was great. Um, start at the start at the dirt tracks, uh, and then work your way up to NASCAR. That was so good. Now Apex, as far as a uh, racing and then car manufacturing management game, Apex was probably the best one. What's up, Felix? How's it going? Just waking up from the afternoon nap. I hear you, buddy. Uh, you missed about the past hour and a half catching crab, having some good conversation about games. Probably have a thousand plus hours in Dirt Daytona. That's amazing, man. That game is so much fun. Again, it's just the concept of the game was really cool at the time. So. Well, for me, Gargoyle, like the 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 ones that I played on console, anyway, like. Those are all the memorable ones, and then Apex is one of those I think kind of slipped through a little bit. What what's going on here now? Is the table full? There's no way. 199. It is full. Okay. Well, let's open this guy up. I bet that's the problem. But the table's full. Dang it. I'm trying to get to where I can grab. You gotta take like one step either direction to pick them up. <laughs> Put the cargo hold just a little closer. Uh, I'll be glad when we get the chute so they can automatically uh, throw them in. They can automatically throw them in. That's gonna be nice. Just go down the chute. Let you guys get out of the way. Dang it. You're both in the way. Move, you morons. Stupid rookies. Okay, we'll go back over here then. There we go. Now let's see if they'll go.
Hello? <laughs> what what broke? Something something happened. I got one pot left and something's going on here. Something's funny. What's the deal? Uh Placing pot on launcher, throwing crab out. Move the sorting table. Looks like that broke. Go move the sorting table, see if that fixes it. Lift the launcher. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I found a bug. I don't know what caused it, but I found one. Maybe it was letting the table fill up. Let's save real quick. I don't know what's about to happen. Back to pot collecting now. That change anything? Don't know what's happening. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what's going on right now. Too tired? I mean, maybe. I guess I. I don't know. Like, I don't think there's an actual um, rating on how tired they get yet. <clears throat> it's possible, but... I don't know. We'll let them rest for a minute. Let's, uh, let's skip an hour. Give them an hour rest. Let's see if that did it. I don't know what's happening, honestly. Huh. It's weird. Let's just wipe this and start over then. Weird, man. I don't know what's going on. I haven't seen this happen yet. I guess, I guess we're back. I don't know what happened there. So strange, though. All right, no. Pot setting. That was weird. Launcher needs fixing. Maybe. I didn't even think about that. Uh, nope. It's at 100. percent Oh, it's at 29. percent Oh, that crab pot's at 29. percent Oh crap, that's not good. Uh, wrist, and you. Uh, repair equipment. I don't think they actually repair equipment. We need to repair it. I bet all of our pots are about to be bad. We're about to lose a lot of crab. Throw that overboard. Get another one. Finish fixing this pot. Man, I didn't even think about the crab pots. Uh, that that wasn't a thing uh, before this past update. All right, let's get the old WD-40 out here. The penetrating oil, as they call it. Yeah, good call, Peter. I, I didn't even think about that, man. Sorting table's at 100. Okay, now. Back to pot setting. Man, we gotta keep that in mind. Uh, do we have a guy still? Yeah, so he's on equipment repair, so maybe they'll do that? I don't think the crew does that yet. 
Okay. Dang, man, I just didn't consider that. That sucks. The rest of our crab pots are probably like that, too. I'm guessing, anyway. I, I would assume that the rest of them are like that, if that one's that bad. Uh, to be fair, we haven't fixed anything since we've been out. And we've been out, we've turned and burned four times, and been back in uh, to Dutch. So, not a, not a great... Uh, great way to do this but uh, you should be checking your checking your crab pots and your equipment often <laughs> uh, that might have been the problem though it might have needed uh, might have needed a fix and, and me just swapping back and forth between them kind of went nope you're going to throw it out there anyway I don't know I really have no idea but uh, I know that we're going to need to fix crab pots in the next one. So. Definitely going to need to fix crab pots in the next one. Man. Really didn't consider that. Just last one in. I'm gonna do something weird. I'm gonna save with some crab on the table because I want to see if they are going to, uh, if it's gonna save in the right spot. Because we used to have trouble with saving in the right place. So we'll save with some on the table. I'm gonna throw these guys in here. And then we'll let the rest of that stay on the table and let's hope that we get credit for them. Drop that over there. Pot setting. We can get that last one in. Throw some bait in it. There we go. A save right there. We had 49 on the table when we saved. So when we come back, we'll see uh, how that worked out. Tales from the outhouse? I probably could, but I don't know, man. Big games are big games. <laughs> well, guys, I got to take off. I started a little later today, but I still wanted to get a full stream in, so... Um, I gotta go. I'll see you guys tonight. Probably doing some driving over on Twitch. If you want to come hang out for some American Truck Sim. Continuing on with our March Mileage charity event uh, that the Outhouse Logistics Company is running. If you want to jump in on that, like I said, check everything down in the description below. Head on over to the Discord. Holler at a staff member. They can get you set up. I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. And uh, thanks for the fun today. Thanks for the good conversation. And uh, the good crapping. I'll see you guys tonight. 9.30 p.m. Central Time. Have a good one. Later, everybody.